Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. It's weird to me that I have so much light in here, and yet if I get into certain places, it just there's no light. Oh yeah, don't do that. What was that? Huh. Ah There we go, much better. How are you doing? I'm fine. Um, I don't know what I'm doing here. I think I was the plan, I think, was to build another layer of the potato farm. I have, uh, I have materials here to do it, for the most part. Uh, let's pick this up. Uh, I, I think this will be a reasonably short uh, episode. I know I always say that, and then everything goes wrong. Why do I have rails, all this nonsense in my pocket? Um... <clears throat> Let's pop, whoops, let's pop down and get this. Oh no, I need, uh, I have carrots in my pocket, I, or I have carrots in the shulker box, I want to put them away for the time being. Um, yeah. So how's everyone doing? Guess I'm doing okay. Um, it's the weekend, it's Sunday, and I have a, wait, I don't really want that. This shulker box here. Yeah, we could do it like this. Wrong choker box. Oh, I've got potatoes already, though. Interesting. Okay. And I've got some carrots in here, so let's put the carrots away. Oof. Um, yeah, so this is... Blop, blop. I apologize for any background noise. Chihuahua Power G is in the kitchen working on prepping lunches for the week. Um, I'm trying to get this out of the way just because I need to. Uh, um, I need to get something recorded. I don't really have specific plans. Uh, the plan was to build. I need to build a few more layers of this. And. Potato farmers do I have left? Three. I need three more layers. So I have not made much progress on here at all. Which is fine. I've been a little busy with work and stuff. And... Well, that's right. I have even started the next layer, kind of. Oh, poison potato sitting on the ground over there. I'm not going to get it. So yeah, I've got this uh, working out. I've got all the things disabled, but uh, the item elevator is, is making progress, and I am building layer after layer, and this guy's doing his job, so that's all fine and dandy. If we go and look in the dropper here, oh shoot, oh that's bad. Um. Okay, he's got carrots. So, how did he get carrots? Thought he was a clean potato farmer. Huh, that's right. Do I see... Oh, hey, Barb. Okay. I'm going to have to keep an eye on this thing in here. And see if I see some potatoes. Huh. Okay, well that's uh, that's a little disconcerting. He's all potatoes. And uh, he's going to be backing up. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, well, <clears throat> that is a situation we will have to keep our eye on. Oh, ladder. Don't really need the ladder in there, do we? Okay, I don't know why that guy had some potatoes carrots in his pocket but he apparently did so we will we'll have to keep an eye on that situation 
and wait. Is it this guy here? Let's see. I think I can look at potatoes. Potatoes, potatoes, potatoes. Okay, as I said, we'll have to keep an eye on it and see if we get any carrots growing here. Unfortunately, if there are carrots, we get a situation where then he gets more carrots. So I'll have to go investigate. Anyway, uh, let me get organized a little bit and then uh, we will proceed and chat about what's been going on. One thing I did want to check. Okay, yeah, we're backing up here. So I want to make sure that this layer was still working. Um, I don't have a lot of room to unload potatoes into my inventory, but I'll offload them here. I want to make sure that this layer was still going to be active and that the guy here was going to be farming and all that, even when uh, I was up above on the surface. Seems to be working okay. Good. So, <clears throat> and again, I apologize for the sounds. Clancy's barking about something. Clearly she's smelling food or something and wants some. And then, uh, as I said, Chihuahua Power G's working on stuff in the kitchen. So this is, there we go. So, um, hope everyone's doing all right. I'm having an okay weekend. It's a little, a little tiring. Trying to get stuff done around the house. Um, specifically in the garden and the house, but the garden, garden as well. Um, this weekend was Tomato Mania, which is an annual event where... Um, there's, that looks dark down there. Let me do something about that. Uh, <clears throat> where nurseries sell a lot of tomato stuff. And, uh, so we went in and bought some tomatoes. We have a container garden in the backyard with, uh, with a lot of tomatoes, about a, I can't remember, but 14 different varieties. Uh, anyway, so that's, uh, so we bought this year's crop of, of tomato plants. And uh, we're trying to rearrange things so that we could actually, you know, plant them and make some progress on that. I also bought some new chili peppers. And I got them sort of situated and, and planted. Pulled out the ones that perished over the course of the winter. Which were... I think we lost like seven plants. I've got um, six. <laughs> I think I had 17, 17 or 18 different uh, chili pepper plants planted. And <clears throat> so we are now. Um, so now I pulled out the ones that died and planted newer, newer plants. A couple new varieties this year. I got a paprika, which I'm very excited about. And another one that's called the Hungarian Black, which is a jalapeno variant, I think. I don't know. We'll see. I did lose both of my purple jalapenos, and I do like those quite a lot. Um, so that was that was unfortunate, but we uh, I did manage to get a new one and uh, another jalapeno on top of that. So, what are you planting there? Let's see. Potatoes. Okay. Don't know how he ended up with carrots, but hopefully he just runs out of them. Huh. Okay. So, anyway. Um, what else is going on? I had... Started getting donations on the MS Walk fundraiser. That's annoying. Sorry about that. Um, 
So that has started. I haven't really started pushing it in uh, earnest yet, but we'll get there. Uh, and then that will be... Let's see. There we go. Um, so that's that has started on the Magic Castle front. Um, I had... I was given a contact person who is a member of the membership committee to sort of touch base with and talk and uh, had a rather nice conversation with them um, they are a magician who um, is kind of a big deal or at least to me and and I realized they were in the room <coughs> it's, it's somebody I know more by name and reputation than by appearance um, and if I had recognized him in the room I I would have been more nervous than I was um, and so we talked about why in his opinion I was not I did not pass the audition and he gave me some some advice and some pointers and uh, we chatted and we chatted for quite a while we had about uh, we went to a coffee shop in in Pasadena and we sat down and we talked for I don't know a couple hours uh, an hour and a half at least it was good um, it was a, it was a nice uh, had a nice nice conversation and I, it was very productive and I feel much I feel good about blop, blop. is that right I think so I feel good about uh, about the my upcoming audition which is on April 1st so April Fool's Day which is kind of amusing so we'll we'll see how that goes um, that is something that I need to be working on on my routine I need to make some changes I need to make some things in order to do that and all that so so it's something I'll be working on over the next few weeks um, so that was good, and that was kind of the, I don't want to say highlight, but that was kind of the the big, oops, uh, that was kind of the, the big news for me over the course of the last week. Uh, but, so, let's see what else is going on. This, put a torch there. All right, so I'll start building this up. We will see how it goes from here. I cannot quite... Oh, actually, I can see some of it. I can see some of these. Oops. F3, please. Potatoes, potatoes. Pota oh, I can see some of these. Oh, you can see a distance now. Okay. That's very cool. Uh -huh. Potatoes, potatoes. Very nice. Oh, I can scan all of these. That's really cool. Okay. So it looks like I don't see any carrots down there. And again, we'll keep an eye on the situation. But... <clears throat> so it used to be, or at least I thought that it used to be, that the... Uh -huh. The identifier, the targeted block thing on the right-hand side of the screen, only worked if you could get a selection um, selection box around it. But that does not appear to be the case. It appears that you can look quite a ways. If you can actually see it, you can actually get a read on what it is. That's very cool. Very handy, so I don't actually have to go down there to check. So, anyway, um, yeah. So there we go. Ooh, wait, what did I see? I thought I saw something different. Carrots. I see carrots. Okay. Let's go get rid of those carrots. Um, yeah, so what else is going on? Potatoes, 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 potatoes. 
white carpet, potatoes, potatoes, potatoes. I saw, I saw, it told me there were carrots over here somewhere. Carrots? Carrots! So I'm just gonna dig these up and see what he plants in their place. So it could be that he had some carrots in one of his inventory slots. Carrots. I think that was the block that I saw. Just clean him up of carrots, which I don't know how he got them. Potatoes, potatoes. Okay, everything else might be potatoes. Yeah. So, as I said, prepping for for my repeat audition, my follow-up audition. Unfortunately, the person in my contact um, is uh, not going to be at the follow-up audition. Oh, hi. Thank you. What did you just plant? Plant potatoes. Okay. Uh, he's not going to be there for at the f on, on April 1st for my follow-up audition. Which is unfortunate because he seems, he's very encouraging and supportive and um, I think he's in my corner as it were, but uh, we will, we will see how things go um, when we, uh, when we get there. But I have to, I have to make some new things, I have to make some new uh, sort of specialty cards and um, so I've got been ordering decks of cards to get all the bits and pieces I need to make what I need and so I am swimming in playing cards right now which is a bit much but you know that's the way it goes um, yeah so anyway I'm just kind of I'm just kind of blathering and rambling here. This is mostly I wanted to update on uh, on that situation. Well, we can put the potatoes down. Oh, they'll go in here. They can hold there. Put these guys up. I need... I have... I do have supplies needed to make... This is the primary one, right? Put it up as high as I can reach. And still open. Very good. And then... Oh, wait. I need these potatoes. Blop. <clears throat> and then I need redstone. And I need my crafting table. And then... Uh, yeah, redstone. My redstone thing. There we go. All right. Okay, so I need a bunch of stuff here. So I need to get just get started. Um, put torches here because that's kind of where they need to go. Yeah. So anyway, um, I think that's. I don't have a whole lot else going on. I mostly wanted to record so I would have something to upload tomorrow and uh, sort of do my little whatever vlog sort of update on the Magic Castle audition bit. So that is, is going. I'm sort of rewriting my routine, um, trying to minimize the pieces or the, the aspects and the bits that they disliked. And then uh, add in, I want to keep things mostly the same because they don't, uh, 
the there people are of multiple opinions as to whether or not if you uh, do not pass the audition if you should completely rearrange things rearrange the act or um, work on making the act better so I've got I want to put in one new trick one of the tricks that I did they were um, wasn't great um, and so <clears throat> I want to make some changes there Oops. to make it better and then let's see here here's this one uh, to make it better and then I need to essentially uh, supplement the routine as a whole because I will be making it quite a bit shorter uh, supplement the routine as a whole uh, with another card trick that goes there <clears throat> and uh, yeah and so and a card trick that shows a little bit more um, shall we say um, skill and capability <laughs> um, and then hopefully that's hopefully that's enough I, I, I don't know I don't think I haven't gotten the sense that they just sort of routinely just say you know what you're the first time you're trying this we're gonna we're gonna turn you down just to make sure you're serious uh, I don't think that's what is going on my performance my uh, audition was not awesome and I need to make it better so there's that so I'll be working on that which means that I will probably not be playing on here a ton over the next few weeks but I will be still doing still releasing videos and uh, yeah so we'll see um, I need to spend a, a lot of time sort of working on writing the new writing the new script writing my new routine and then practicing it so uh so i may need some downtime when uh, it comes to you know just sort of decompress a little bit after spending energy on that kind of stuff but we will uh, see how it goes so there we go Whoa. Uh, okay. We also have house guests in the form of uh, rats living in the attic. Um, we had um, at one point we had a uh, we had an exterminator come out and. <clears throat> work on reducing the the rats and uh, we have some stuff that we really should be doing to the house in order to make it so that the rats can't get in because it's an old house and there's lots of places where they can sort of squeeze through I don't know if you've seen there was a, a video that went uh, I guess I guess you would call it viral over, uh, recently over the last week I'm sorry, I'm pausing because I thought I just saw him harvest carrots. Okay. These are not mixed farms. Obviously, I could make carrots and potatoes in the same stack, in the same chunk. Uh, it just complicates the shulker box loaders. I would have to put in sorting um, <clears throat> Yeah, I would have to put in the sorting system to load up the shulker boxes at this point if a few carrots get into the uh, the system here um, ah, Shoot he does have more carrots Okay we will have to keep our eye on it. 
Um, so yeah, if we uh, if if we get carrots into the system, they'll just jam up the shulker box loader. So that's no good. But we will. It's a it's a solvable problem, so we'll just have to deal with it. Um, yeah. So what was I talking about? Oh, rats. So <clears throat> I place some uh, some. We have had a few traps that we've been keeping set. Uh, rats are fairly smart, and they can get through incredibly tiny, tiny holes. Um, if you again, oh, that's right. You, the uh, there was that video that was kind of going around of a rat that got stuck in the hole of a manhole cover. It was trying to climb out of the manhole um, and through one of the holes in the cover, and it got stuck because its little rat body was just a little too chubby. And uh, some firefighters helped it out and put it back down into the sewer, which I guess was nice. Um, so, let's see here. The glass goes in here. I do have the glass. So anyway, the, the hole in the, the manhole cover is less than an inch <clears throat> in size. In diameter and the rat was able to mostly squeeze his way through it so that's uh, that's kind of terrifying uh, and we have we have holes like that um, in all around the house and in the rafters and all that good stuff so so that's uh, so the rats have plenty of opportunity to come into the house or Mostly they're up in the attic, and then we don't keep anything up there. It's just the you know the the AC system and the heater. Um, but they make all kinds of noises and they freak the dogs out, and it's it's uh, disconcerting hearing uh, rats tromping around. So anyway, uh, I think that's I think that's about it. Um, I'm gonna continue working on this, but. We've been recording longer than I than I thought we had, so let's uh, uh, have to go refresh my memory of how this next layer is built. I think it's another layer of brick with yeah, and then I get sea lanterns. That was a spooky sound. So I think we have bricks and sea lanterns instead of torches here. And then the dirt goes on top of that. So, anyway, I think that's it. I will let you go. And, um, and get this built. And the next couple, I'm going to have to go back to the base and get... Uh, supplies to build the next two. I only prepared uh, those four. I only prepared six layers worth of um, uh, supplies. Wait, there's one more, isn't there? Oh, are these supposed to be lanterns? Yeah, I think so. There we go. Then I'll fill this in with stone brick. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, so there we go. Thank you for watching. This is Theron. It's been Minecraft Land Party. And I will see you next time. All right, bye.